Mix some milliput and cover entire base. You don't need to make it very even. Now take your model and adjust its position along with the rocks. These will remain in place throughout the rest of the stone arrangement process. Remember to leave spaces between the rocks so that lava can flow between them. Mix some milliput to create lava veins. You can add small balls to represent bubbles of lava. STL files for them are also available. Add some milliput to blend them with the lava. Once the milliput dries, it's time to use AK water gel. I apply a thick layer because this gel shrinks significantly during curing. When the gel has dried, I apply a layer of agrelin earth from Citadel. Once it dries, it creates a nice cracked surface effect. In the center, where the lava is more fluid, I thinned the paste with water to create a less cracked surface. Once the agrelin earth is dry, it's time for painting. First, I primed the base with black. Then, using an airbrush, I will apply successive layers of paint. I start with white to provide a good base for the bright colors. Time for a mix of sol yellow and fluorescent orange. Now fluorescent orange. With each subsequent layer, I'll try to leave the previous layers in the recesses. The deeper it goes, the brighter the color should be, as the temperature of the lava is higher there. Fluorescent orange and Antares red. Now come some rather crucial steps, so it's important to be careful not to overdo it. I used black and Antares red. I'll be spraying the paint from the side of the base with the airbrush, allowing the paint to accumulate on the raised surfaces. Time to work with a standard brush. Use pure black. Take a large brush and with a wet dry brush technique, cover all the rocks to make them completely black. It's worth lightening the stones a bit. For this, I'll use petroleum gray and ivory. With a gentle dry brushing technique, I'll lighten the stones until I'm satisfied with the effect.
Now it's time to paint the lava. To achieve an intense color, it should be painted on a white surface. So first, I'll paint the lava vein sketches using sun yellow and white, and then I'll use pure orange fluorescent to achieve the desired color. In the center of the base, I'm trying to make the lava more intense. I'm now applying a mix of sun yellow and orange fluorescent on the previously laid white color to make the color even more intense, especially where the lava merges. Base is done. Thanks for watching.